We've got so many different, you know, we need so many different publicity photographs and we've got so many different looks to try and get through to today and also tomorrow we're going to a studio and do more there. So, I mean, I suppose it's at the end of it. Hopefully one will just say this is definitely album cover, you know. I'm shooting we kind of just kind of go with it as, as, as we go each shot, we kind of go, okay, what do we do next? And just change it around a bit, you know? Yeah, let's do it like that. Kind of. We went through some lookbooks, right? Basically from a lot of different photographers. And uh, I remember we sat, we all sat in a room looking through them and we all immediately picked the same guy. His colours and the contrast with his colours, I think the way he works and manipulates pictures is a really big part of his... It's, it's very creative and very artistic. Colour was quite a, a different thing for us, really, because we're always stuck in black, really, but... Um, which we like. But, you know, this is... We, we did want, particularly this album, the way it is musically, I think colour is, and is, is, an, is an important thing to have. This is going to be a pretty wild look, as you can see, by Sharon's hair. Um, and, uh, thanks for the God that will be doing that to me. But, uh, I think somebody was tempted to put a wig in my head. It wasn't having anything of any of it. Musician, not a model, and um, so my idea of spending the day trying on clothes is just well, it's not my idea, you know, it's just not my idea to do that, you know. Don't think I was ever made to be a model, and um, just just for the whole standing around and the posing of it, and uh, regardless of the height and everything else, you know, move your leg, you know, this it's I really respect models actually, it's difficult, it's difficult, but it makes you quite self conscious. It does, you know, because you've been sort of nitpicked in every little area and people go, you know, you can see them over there going because they can see what's coming out on, on, you know, the Polaroids ribbon. I can see them going sort of, you know, and they're looking and they're, they're going, pointing to parts of their body and you're wondering, well, is it my chest that doesn't look particularly good in the top or is it car lines? Or, you know, so you become quite self-conscious. The thing is that it all boils down to belief in the album and that's the thing. You know, like it is kind of bittersweet. You do kind of go, oh God, you know, interviews the whole lot. I mean, I think there's, we're human, you know, you're going to think that. But then you go, Jesus, this album's worth us pushing it, you yeah. know? Yeah. And, and that's, that's it. And that's the only thing it ever will boil down to when you go, uh, and you go, so you're going to let that song, that, you know, just slip away then. <laughs> you know, and you go, no, I can't do that. And there are a lot of elements that you miss as well. You know, when you're not on the road, you certainly miss playing. Even though you're playing yeah. in the studio, you miss the performance, you miss the buzz of the gig, you miss the audience, you miss the after-show drink, you, miss, you know, all that goes around with it, and you miss the sort of the dressing room atmosphere and the wardrobe and looking and seeing all the people who work with you and help you mm -hmm. to get to that stage where you put a show on. So you miss, you miss that, and, you know, there are elements of promotion that, you know, you'd miss as well. Very few, but there are. <laughs> It's really nice to be back in it again and it's nice to sort of feel that initial surge and sort of worry for the album and is it going to go and, and you know, just the expectation is, is quite exhilarating, you know. I'm going to just take it week by week <laughs> because if I look to the, f the future I think I'd probably just go mad because if you look at a schedule three months down the line you just go, oh my god, how am I, go how am I actually going to do this? But um, I think you just take it, take it week by week. And I mean, I really want to do it. And I, I just, I've a lot of faith in this record and I've a, you know, a lot of hope, hope for it. So um, I just want to, just want to, well, I want to work. I want to, you know, I love being a mum, but I like to work too. So you can do both if you, if you want, you know. We love music, we love writing. We're going to endeavour to, to continue going for as long as we love what we're doing and as, as long as people want to hear us, you know.